This is a Suhao home security camera system. It is an eight channel system. This particular unit comes with four cameras. You can spend more money and get eight cameras for it. It's a wireless system. The cameras are a two megapixel 1080p cameras. It comes with the NVR mounted on the back of a monitor. So you want to get a monitor and NVR built in and that is the thing that really interested me about it. And I forgot to mention that the unit also comes with a one terabyte hard drive. Before I get into the review, I'll just show you a few of the clips that I've got from the cameras. They've been up for a few days now. And these are some day and nighttime clips. Now these have been actually downloaded from the hard drive on the MVR using the backup software and placed onto a memory stick. I've transferred them across onto my computer. So when you download these files, they come across in a .avi format, but unfortunately none of the Windows 10 software will play it. So every one of these clips has been converted and in the conversion process they have lost a little bit of their quality. So what you're seeing is not quite as good as what I'm getting on my MVR system when I'm playing it back on my screen. I actually downloaded VLC Media Player to watch the videos and convert them into an MP4 format which works absolutely fine with all the Windows software. So just bear that in mind. This is how the system comes packaged. Inside the box we've got the NVR and screen, they're both combined. Four cameras, four wireless aerials. This is a high gain aerial and it's magnetic. There are two little stick on bases there so that you can mount that anywhere you want. We've got a mouse, four sets of fixtures and fittings for the cameras, a quick installation guide and a sticker there to say that you've got security surveillance, four power adapters for the cameras, this is a power adapter for the MVR and screen, an Ethernet cable, that is a stand for the MVR and screen and it also comes with a screw at the back there so you can actually screw it onto the stand to make it secure. Let's have a look at the screen and MVR combo, as you can see there's a power button at the front, it's a 1080p display. This is where the hard drive is installed, you can see that there are little hanging sockets there so that you can mount it directly to the wall should you want to. It's got two wireless aerials. So if we look on the side you can see we've got a socket there for the power supply, two USB sockets, an Ethernet socket, a HDMI socket and a 3.5mm audio socket. So if we look at the bottom of the monitor right there we've got like a groove that the mount fits into and the screw that goes into the back of the mount also fits into this monitor to keep everything secure. The stand just slides up and into that slot like so and there we go. Inside each of the fittings bag you'll see there's an allen key. So if you look on the base of the camera there, there's a little set screw slackening. That set screw off allows you to adjust the camera bracket. So move it down, which will allow you to get the aerial in there and just screw that on. And I'm going to do that for all four cameras. So let's take a closer look at this camera. If we look at the front there, I counted 36 infrared LEDs. This little green thing here is the daytime nighttime sensor. That in the center is obviously the lens. It's obviously got a 3.6mm lens, it's a 1080p camera. So this is where we connect the power adapter and this allows you to connect an Ethernet cable if you can't get a Wi-Fi signal. And this has got a waterproof plug in it, that's the first time I've seen that. So the MVR monitor power supply comes with a one2 meter cable, which is pretty standard but I would have preferred it to be longer because with these systems you need to be able to move the MVR around so that you can get the best possible signal from all the cameras and 1.2 meters is a little bit restricted but it's kind of industry standard. The camera power supplies on the other hand come with 3 meters of cable which is far better than average and you can also buy extension leads for these from Amazon and I will put a link below now you can get long extension leads so if you find that you haven't got enough lead to mount the cameras you can always buy an extension lead to allow you to mount the camera where you want to. The instruction manual is in English and it is one of the best that I've seen. It's very comprehensive with a lot of information on how to set the system up and actually operate the MVR. There's a lot of stuff in there. The system is described as plug and play and in the instruction manual it tells you to set everything up before you mount anything to make sure that everything works. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the NVR screen. So that appears to be booting up no problem at all. I'll just let that go through its startup sequence. So I'll plug the mouse in as well because that might be required. Right, so you can see that's the MVR home screen there. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on all four cameras and we'll see what happens. So that's all four cameras on. Just want to see what are the cameras. Oh, there we go. That's two of them on. 
and that's the other two on that is very good I'm very impressed with that so that's that one and that one and we've got that one and that one set up so that's all four cameras up and running without any hassle whatsoever that was very very easy so if I take the mouse we'll just double click on a particular screen if we double click again it comes out of that that is a very good image it looks very good so just powering the system on and already all four cameras are connected and ready to go so now we need to work out where we're going to put them and we also need to make sure that where we are going to put them gets a decent Wi-Fi signal so right click brings up the menu let's go into the system setup hard drive you can see that we've got a one terabyte hard drive there it's formatted ready to go screen setup output resolution 1280 by 2040 we want 1080p at 50 hertz because we're in the UK so what I'm going to do now is plug an Ethernet cable in to connect this to my router I'll do that now you can see the Ethernet cable connected there and it's actually sending a signal out so we'll go into system setup and network setup and there we go it's saying we've got a healthy network you can see on the instruction manual there that we've got two QR codes one for iPhone and one for Android so I'm going to actually use my iPhone and to scan the QR code you just need to select the camera make sure it's on photo and then the phone will get that automatically IP Pro it's saying I've actually already got that installed from my other system then you go into local experience you don't have to set up a username and password you can just go on to local experience and we'll go on plus add DVR MVR and it's got asking for us to input the cloud ID number now if I remember rightly system setup network setup show QR code there we go that's just connected now so I've mounted all four cameras and the MVR is inside that room there and it's kind of down there somewhere on top of my computer so it's behind that brick wall below the level of the window and then the cameras the first one is just there on that fence you can just see the aerial there the second one is just there and then the other two are just there on the driveway so let's look at this camera first this one has got to go through two brick walls through the side of the house to reach the MVR and there's no problem with that signal this one is more or less in line of sight with the MVR which is obviously in the office there the best case scenario for these two is one brick wall but I would say it's probably two depending on where I think the actual MVR is in compared to where the cameras are now all of these cameras are giving me a nice signal without any issues at all which is quite refreshing so every one of these cameras is connected via an extension cable I think I've got three 20 meter cables and one 10 meter cable another big bonus as far as I'm concerned is that this camera now has been detected by the MVR when I did a search but it actually appears on my MVR system so it's now recording along with the other four cameras 24 hours a day which is a real bonus as far as I'm concerned so the default record for this system is for 24 hours a day now playback if you go to video playback this is quite intuitive and quite easy to use if you look at the bottom there that blue is where I've been recording manually red means it's actually recording 24 hours on the automatic system so you can search the timeline or you can just slide across using this bar there to whatever time you want the way that I tend to use it is to take it right back to the beginning of the day and then just scroll through it at 32 times normal speed and that way you can monitor all your video footage see what's been happening in the last 24 hours or forever long you want to look at and it's quite easy to spot something moving on the, the video so it's easy to set and back up video onto a memory stick that's very very easy to do just in case you want to take any footage to show somebody else the whole system is quite intuitive to use there are no issues with it whatsoever and I'm very impressed with the way it's all operating I think this is a great CCTV system the video is clear night vision is very good the MVR is very easy to use and with 24 hour video recording on a one terabyte disc which lasts a good few days there's no issues with that at all I think it's very handy and it's going to prove very useful the screen adds a whole new dimension to it the fact that you don't have to use your monitor to check stuff you can actually leave the screen running all the time and use your monitor for your PC or whatever else you're using it for is absolutely brilliant so I think that it's a great product I'm really glad that I got it I hope you found this review useful and thank you for watching